It's four in the morning, and these ICE officers are gearing up for a day of raids. Their mission? Arresting undocumented immigrants with criminal records. 2011, he got DUI. He was turned over to ICE, and then uh, he was removed to Mexico. Due to President Trump's hardline immigration policies, arrests are up this year compared to last. But because of the complicated reality on the ground, they've actually deported fewer people than last year. As soon as he parks, we're going to affect the arrest right there. I'd, I'd rather keep us all together, but if he comes out, I mean, don't wait for us. Hit him. Dave Marin leads the team. We can't arrest everybody, so the greatest impact that we're going to be able to make on public safety is by going after the most serious criminals first. But even though the agents say they're focusing on criminals, under Trump, ICE officers are arresting more non-criminals than before through collateral arrests. We've always had teams out on the streets, but not to the extent that we have to do it now. When ICE officers don't find the criminal target in the home, they're encouraged to interview and arrest other undocumented family members who are present. I have consent to enter the property. When Marin and his team arrived at this house, they didn't find their criminal suspect. They met his parents and younger brother instead. It appears through preliminary checks that both of the adults here, both of the parents, have been previously deported. So there also is a juvenile here in the house, right? So let's say we arrest both of the parents, then we'll also have to call Child Protective Services to come out here and take the, uh, the child, because the child is a United States citizen. Ultimately, they decide to leave the mother and arrest the father, Fidel Delgado, who works at a dairy farm and has been in the country for over 20 years. Arrests of people like Delgado are part of the reason why overall arrests are up. Still, there have been 20,000 fewer deportations this year compared to Obama's final year in office. Why? Partly because Trump's tough immigration rhetoric may be discouraging illegal border crossings, which means less deportations right at the border, where it's easier to apprehend and deport migrants. Also, when people like Mr. Delgado are taken into custody, it creates a complicated situation. With no criminal record, a U.S.-born child to take care of, and a full-time managerial job, his absence would be to the detriment of others. After his arrest, he was sent home that day with a notice to comply with any further immigration orders. And the next day, he was back at work. The seeming contradiction of more arrests but fewer deportations shows the difficulties of trying to enforce a hard-hitting immigration policy once campaign rhetoric comes face-to-face -face with the real world.